Let's go. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Oh shit. I almost died. I've been waiting. Damn, I didn't even comb my hair for this shit. Literally, she just joined us fresh out of the mailbox. I got from the Black Collection, AHA, AJ Arabia Black Collection 3. I've been wanting to smell this joint. I really, this would be my first full bottle one, I think, or second. I gotta check my other stash. But anyway, let's just open this joint up and see what's what. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can check out AJ Arabia's Black Collection number three. I'm excited. You sexy Blessing morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. Widian fragrances. Widian fragrances are known to be like some bangers. Like they got London, New York, anal beads. I forgot all that. They have a whole bunch of different ones. Now this one, I felt based on the notes looked a little bit interesting. I smelled a couple of fragrances from their house only in sample form and I really liked them, but I wanted to start off going left. I didn't want to get something, you know, the, the whole first impression things for me honestly is the thrill and the excitement to not only smell the fragrance for the first time. Well, no, yeah, it's smelling the fragrance for the first time, just getting something brand new and hoping, really crossing my fingers that is dope. London is fire. The few Widian fragrances, what is it, New York and London that I've smelled are lit. I know what they smell like already. I'm gonna get them, but I'm in no rush to get them. I wanted to try really rolling the dice and getting something that I haven't smelled, which would be this one, AG Arabia Widian Black Collection number three? Yeah, three. I don't know what's been going on lately. I know it seems like a shtick, but like, I've been having the only problem opening boxes lately. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's my fucking stupidity or what, but legit, like, fam, is, I feel like the world is playing a prank on me. Oh, by the way, I bought this one from Fragrance Buy. They didn't send this to me. I did buy this fragrance. Um, I mean, fam, great presentation. Very heavy duty, very good quality shit. It's beautiful presentation in these bottles, honestly. I'm gonna drop this joint for sure. AG Arabia Widian Black Collection number three. Now the name could be convoluted, that's how they have it. Black Collection AJ Arabian. I looked it up, I like the presentation and I like the notes. That's why I bought the fragrance, right? Great presentation, nice coffin, heavy duty. It's got that beautiful accent cut out in the front. Let's just jump right into the fragrance. Again, here's the presentation, very nice. It's a 50 ml. These fragrances are not cheap at all, but the whole fragrance game isn't cheap unless you're going the clone route, which I'm a fan of. If you're gonna be in this game, you gotta play, you gotta pay to play. That's just how it is, and this being part of my business, I gotta pay to play. So let's just jump right into this joint. I'm gonna spray this joint right on the test strip because I've been excited to smell this. I hope it doesn't suck. And then we're gonna look up the notes together. Ooh. Hmm. Not exactly what I expected, actually. There's a, I don't know if it's the test strip. It's changing very quickly, so I don't I don't know. Sweet, lemony, citric, slightly powdery. There's also a very weird underlying aquanet hairspray aerosolic kind of scent profile coming off this fragrance. A little weird off the test strip, honestly. Like it's this weird little note, this sour kind of thing throwing everything off. There's a lot of beauty surrounding it. I'm gonna blame it on the test strip. I'm gonna just jump right in and try it on skin because there's so much going on in that scent that's really pretty off the test strip. It just seems to be that one singular thing that's throwing it off. Maybe it's not the test strip and I'm just passing blame, but we'll find out right now. One spray of that witty and black number three. It still kind of comes off skin, not as prominent as it does on paper. There is something there that's a little bit, smells a little bit turnt sour and bitter, not so much citric, actually it leans a little bit more aerosolic hairspray mixed with slight vinegar. Like it has a little bit of a weird thing about it. There's so much niceness behind it though. That little thing is off-putting. It is weird, it is unusual. I don't love how it's kind of lingering on that opening and there's so much pretty sweetness. There's senses like of hide, of leather, there, there's some, there's some sour citric nuances there. There's a little bit of a patchouli action, but there's this one little vinegarish aerosolic hairspray kind of nuance on that opening, at least off the test strip in my skin, that's kind of 
turning a little bit. Now it seems to be dying down, which thank God, but it's still lingering. It's unusual. I get leather, I get patchouli, I get citrus, I get this herbal component off of it also. But again, there is something in there that's a little weird and I don't love. And the problem that I'm experiencing, at least in this opening slight midsection, is that there's beauty there, there's love there, there's sexy in there, but that, whatever that note is, and I'm gonna look up the notes now, whatever that is, is not great. It's not what I want to smell on the opening, which is kind of, mm. Let's look up the notes real quick. All right, so according to the liar, the the top notes are listed as mint and bergamot, followed by woody notes and leather, very prominent, sandalwood, vanilla, patchouli, moss, and oud. No. Could it be that mint? And it's a funky, vinegary ass mint. Mint and bergamot. I'm trying to think in my brain. Mint and bergamot. Would it give it that? I mean, I get the citrus from the bergamot, but the mint, why would the mint give it this? vinegar-ish essence. The leather's coming through, the patchouli, the, I get the mossiness, I get the oody vibes. The oud is even, the, the, even the oud is kind of just chilled. It's not, you know, on the animalic, funky asshole smell. But that opening, and at this point mid, it seems to be living throughout, is a little off-putting. I'm kind of disappointed. Like, I hope they didn't last. But it's kind of just sitting there, opening and mid. It smells Holy shit, it is the mint. You know what it kind of smells like? If you own a home and you get the black garbage bags that have that minty smell to repel rodents, it kind of has that smell. It is the fucking mint and citrus combination that's giving it this weird vinegarish kind of off-putting. There's so much potential in this fragrance and I was beyond hype, clearly. But if it just lasted a couple of minutes on the opening on my skin or paper, this would have been a really nice fragrance. But it's not going anywhere. It's a garbage bag mint scent profile that smells like rodent repellent. Fuck. There's, I feel like a frustrated teacher like telling a kid like, yo, you got so much fucking potential, bro. Like stop, stop dicking around. Now, that's how I feel right now, because there's so much potential here. And maybe I just gotta give it a couple of wears to see what kind of energy it comes off, but that minty citric opening that smells like spoiled vinegar semen, yeah, no. I can't get past it, I can't get past it. And it's not projecting off the skin like crazy either. For it to be like a nice sillage bubble that maybe getting up close is what's turning it off. Maybe in the air it's a little bit different. So I'm gonna, at this moment, it's gonna have to get a couple of wears. I, th there is something there that's fucking good. But right now, it's not a ball spray, unfortunately. Another L I gotta take, that's just what it is. But maybe in the air, it's a little bit different and it's gotta be a multiple spray thing because that singular spray is not sitting in the air. It didn't make a scent cloud. It didn't do nothing crazy. Off the paper, when I initially sprayed it, I got it because it was kind of right here. But yeah, a little disappointed. Not gonna lie. No goose pimple action here. And I know this house does fire shit, but some of the shit that you gotta take when, when doing blind buys, and luckily I get the opportunity to take the hits so you guys don't have to. Personally, this is a fragrance that you absolutely must test. Do not blind buy this joint. Test it if you have the capability, if the notes seem interesting to you, if you're a fan of the house, before pulling the trigger on an expensive fragrance. Unfortunately, it's not a ball sprayer, but I will touch back and we will revisit to see if in the air with multiple sprays, that sour vinegary note is not present. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Let me know what witty and fragrance absolutely blows your socks off, and I will pick that up next, other than London or New York, or put those in the comments as well, it doesn't matter. I'll see y'all stitches next time. You know who it is biggest in the game. Smooches. Cubano, Cubano, Cubano. What's fresh? Who's best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Cubano. With a fly gun, hold a money fold a roller roller snort tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.